computer. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Jeff Goodwin here from the Ninjas. Uh, today we have uh, some fellow Ninjas on with us. We have uh, Kerry and Sigti, and other people have been invited, but let's see what happens. Today is the 14th of September, and the time is 8 p.m. UK time, which therefore is 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern, okay, in America, and various time zones. Okay, now I was just, the purpose of today is I promise this week I would go through trade setups with indices and gold, uh, and then how to enter, and also the results throughout every single day this week. So we we can from a learning experience we can take it on. So on the right hand side, these are the these are the indices I use mostly focus on US. One NAS 100, SPX or Standard Poor's 500, US oil, US 30, German 30, and also gold. Yep. So, how does this work? So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on normal candles. So, I'm at the top one there. I'm going to click on the hour time frame for a minute. And you notice that I've actually changed my setup ever so slightly based on my brainwave I have today, based on my brainwave. So I'll take all of the, everything off for a moment. Yep. Now, what do we know about the markets in the US? Yep. So you see there, it's 8 p.m. Um, um, is that right? Oh, that's the wrong one, actually. It should be 9 p.m. That should be 9 p.m., actually. I'll move that one over, actually. Yeah, nine. And indices open at 11 p.m. UK time, mm. where currencies open 10 p.m. UK time. So all you would do is, depending on your time frame, you would take that number of hours off. Yeah, here I'm doing UTC plus one. Yeah, so whatever you are, whether UTC plus seven, plus six, five, whatever, just change this. So you okay. see the mark question so yeah. far. Questions so far, please. Um, no questions. Thank you very much. And Katie, if you have any questions, just type them. Thank you. So market closes there, and there's an hour gap between there and then sorry, that's a, that's nine. And indices don't open to two hours, which is a two hour window. Do you notice that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, this specific trade setup only works with trades where there's a gap between closing and opening. We'll say okay. that again. This specific type of trade only works in the gap when it closes and when it opens. So that's why I'm choosing to focus on these. However, for currencies, a Monday morning, there would be a gap. But I would ask you to people to back test them first. I'll probably be back testing them next week myself. So what I've done here, just so you know, it's nine o'clock candle, market closes. And then we have an open of the industry. This one is today. Yep. Yes. This is today. So the first step I do is I put on something called the volume profile. So what I do is to get to that, Kerry. I just go up to here, volume profile, and go for session, right, the session volume. Now to access this, you actually have to have a, a, a pro account with TradingView. Yeah. Yep, you need to have a pro account with TradingView. Just a few pounds, it's nothing, a few dollars. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually just gonna click on that. And when you get it out of the box, it looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit different, but you notice there straight away, it actually appears at the open at the 11 o'clock. I call that the 11 o'clock candle. Can you, I have a question, please. Yep. Can you please, the, can, you, can you please tell me the time 11? 
PM or uh, uh, like uh, Eastern uh, time or? Eastern. So all you do is you take Eastern, you take five off of that. So 11 take away yeah. five is 6 PM. Okay. Yep. If you're seven, again, you just take it off. Uh, so that's 23. 6 PM is um, like... Uh, Seven hours difference. Okay. So uh, just tell me your my, my, Now, I don't know if it's my internet that is bad or it's yours, but we can just I try our best. Can, I can work on my time, like, like Eastern time or UK time. Well, this is UK time. Yeah. I'm just going to show you how I set them up. There's a reason for it. I yeah. set them up this way. You can tell me. Okay. Now look what I've got down here. I've written down here market close here and market opens here. So that's for my, I added these today. So, so I've put on the market profile, sorry, the, the volume profile. Now, now, first thing I do is market opens there. First thing we do is we look left. We'll switch that off for a minute. That there is the candle. That one right there. We're looking for that candle. And you have to ask yourself the question. The question is, is, is this here? You look at the, the, the volume. Is it in the previous day's range? Yeah, so let's do that. Is this here in the previous day range? And the answer is yes. Yeah, because that's the candle there. And it's the previous day's range. As we continue, I'll fil filter that slightly. But just say it's in the previous day range. So it's a first tick. Yeah. What we then do, we just look for something called the point of control. Now, what is the point of control? If I go to this here, I click on settings, style, the point of control that you see here, I've made blue. Out of the box, when you get it, this one here, it is red. This big long one here, it's blue, but when you get it, first it's out, it's red. Yeah. And what I've done is I've extended it. I've extended this so it was beyond into the following day. Yeah. Look at my settings. Six per row, two, total, 70. You can recall this later on when you watch the recording. Style, 30. And that's it. Now, what does this all mean? Treat this like a magnet. Because price is in here, price is naturally drawn back to this point of control. Now, just so you know, 70% of this whole day, we'll see that again, 70% of the whole day's trading was in this zone here about yesterday's whole trading 70 percent was in that zone there now exactly do you think that is something that's useful to know sorry 70 percent of yesterday's trading is in the darker blue zone yeah yes would you say that is a good thing to know yeah, it's good to know, yeah. Very good. And see this blue line? Yeah. And that exact price here, if I move this along. Yeah. Put it a bit there. 15390. That was the most traded price the whole day yesterday. Again, very useful to know. Yeah. Yeah. So all we do is looking at today's here. Mm. We ask ourselves the question, 11 o'clock candle, is, is it in the previous day's range? Yes. Yeah. We then look for the target. Now, the target is yesterday's point of control. And you see there, well, that's moved along, actually. That's, it's, it was actually there. I'll move that slightly. I've marked that target point of control from there. Do you see that? Yeah. Yes or no? Yep. Good. Yeah, yes. So we're good to go. I go down to either the 15-minute 
or the five minute now. So I've set that up. That's the tree setup. Okay. Now, let me talk to you a little bit more. So we know at this point here, at the 11 o'clock candle here, price yep. is in a consolidation. But we want to get it so it comes down to yesterday's. This keeps moving. I'll put it out. So I'll put it back down to change time frames. So all I do is I put on the famous Heikinashi candles. Yep, that's a target there. I put on yeah. my Ninjicator, which I'm actually going to put that yeah. line off for a minute. I'm actually going to take this line, middle line off for a minute. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I put on my matrix. Now, the reason why I love the matrix, it keeps us out potentially at bad trades. And there's lots of options for it. Now, let's let me see where I am. So this is price that goes throughout the day. Now, at this point, I would have entered the trade there, right? Yeah. Why? Why do you think I would have entered the trade there? Because we're in a first of all, we're in a we're in a matrix sell zone, and we have a ninja down. Yeah. That's the reason why. Uh, the time of the day is 07 a.m. UK time. For you, that's maybe not the best time. Now, we're looking upon this. That might not be the best time of the day to actually enter that trade because it's a US pair. But let's just go with it anyway. So you enter the trade. It comes down. You're 605. Now, that's not 600. That's not pips. That's points. So that would be 6,000 pips. Wow. At that point nice. there. But it says 610 at points that actually pays like a normal pip. Okay. But what then happens is it starts going the wrong way. If you're not watching it, you'd probably stay in the trade. Now, if you had your other line on, the line that went, um, you know, the the, the, the the trending, what you could yeah. have chose that to get out. But what I do is I use this when it changes here. I use this personally. We have to, Tony, I have to check with the matrix, make sure it's on the right. Uh, that's fine. I would have exited the trade there in profit. We have not achieved the rim, but we made a small profit of. Yeah. Uh, 1900 pips that's not too bad is it small profit 196 yeah. points that's the first trade yep yeah. we then enter does anybody have any questions Kerry um, when we enter the trade where can we put the stop loss like above yeah thank you very much I'm glad you said that now two options so there, you notice there I used a stop profit because that's what I do when I notice this. I exit the trade as soon as it goes into a buy zone there. So what I would do is I would look left. I look left. Okay. I'll, take, I'll try and take these off for a minute. Mm -hmm. And you see the high here? Yeah. Yep, above there. Now, one thing okay. you have to be very, very careful of, mm. indices wick a lot. So, but let's just do that. Do that there. So let's put the stop loss. Just I above think Kerry, Kerry is uh, texting you. Can you check her message? I think yeah, I'm she's... looking at. Yeah, I can. Number one, no questions yet. I have to watch. Okay, thank you. So, my stop loss is just above the high. So you notice for that one there, uh, we made 109. So I'll forget that there. Um, yeah, I'll come back. I'll come back to that in a minute, actually. I'll come back to that in a minute. Yeah. Exit the trade there. Profit. 196 points. Uh, we'll call it points. We'll forget the pips for a minute. Then it comes back up here. I would not enter there. 
I could potentially take that one there if I wanted to. Early entry down goes yeah. there. Then it goes into a green zone. I exit the trade. Where's my stop loss? It's above there. That's 375 points. This is only on one. Yep. Yeah. I exit yeah. the trade. Next one. Now our target's here. The target's here the whole time. Yeah. Next one. Early entry down, but it's in a green zone there. But we get the ninja down in the red zone. Excellent. Enter the trade. All the way down, 800. That's 8,000 pips. And then it comes to there. Exit the trade. Do that again. Exit the trade in the green zone. 536 points. Yeah. And then we have another trade here. I do not enter until it's in a red zone. It smashed the target. Uh, and I, I close at the target at 601 points. So I place four trades for that one currency pair today. Or oh, that's your opportunities. 601 plus 536 plus 375 plus 196 equals. So that one trading instrument is 1708 equals 17,000 pips. 17,000 pips on one trading instrument today. Today. So that, Kerry, just so you know, I know you don't need to listen, but this happens throughout the day. So there's lots of opportunities for you with this. Yep. Sakti, do you have any questions? Yes, it's amazing. Sakti, do you have any questions? Yeah. Do you have any questions? No, tell me only the time. Uh, like, what, can you tell me the I can't hear you. Type if you can't speak. Type if you can't speak, please. Now, as we're waiting for him, you notice down here we have another market open. Here we have Sydney open, London open, and New York open. And you notice, hi, that, hi there, as a US pair with the huge volume, huge volume was New York open. However, we've made, even without them, we've made significant profits throughout the day. Yes, Sakti? Yeah, I can hear you now. Sorry, uh, my internet was disconnected. It moves throughout the day, totally throughout the day, uh, Kerry. This is from this whole time frame here covers 21. Uh, so far, that, that, that's, um, that there is 23 hours from there to there. Is that enough hours for you to make some profit? Yeah, it's enough. It's enough. Have an hour off for lunch. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, that's one trading instrument. Now, just what you know what I've done there, we change the time zones to suit you. So, for example, um, what Vancouver. time? Vancouver. That's Vancouver. Uh, Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah. What number is that? On the top. Can you go a little bit on the top? Uh, no, on the, uh... That's Vancouver there. That's Vancouver there. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. So there's Vancouver. Seven, yeah. Now look at that there. Market closes at 1 p.m. 1300. Sydney opens then. Mm. 1500. London opens then. And New York opens then. So when you think of Kerry, you would be in this trade round about here. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yes. Uh, are you 
UTC my, van, near Vancouver. I, I know I asked you all to, just uh, people at different time zones. I think it's round about, I think it's Denver actually. I think it's Denver. Yeah. So let's do this for Kerry. So let's look at this for timing. So there's one o'clock, there's London. But before that, there's midnight. I mean, you could potentially got all that there. That one move, it depends when you went to sleep. That one move, 4,000 pips, 444 points. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to move on. Let's go to the next one. SPX 500. Here's one I've appeared earlier. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'll remove all these here. I don't need double. So at the moment, I'm in UTC plus one. I'll do it for mine, then I'll do it for yours. So 15 minutes, I'm going to do normal candles. Normal candles. Market closes at nine. Excellent. Indices open at 2300. That's the, tw that's the candle there. So the first question we ask ourselves is, as we put on our, our volume profile, is this here in the previous day's range? Yes, it is. Thank you very much. Tick. Trade setup complete. How easy is that for a setup? Very easy, isn't it? So yeah. between setup and getting in, two different things. We're now going to teach you how to enter the trade. Seems too easy. <laughs> yeah, I'll go back to Denver for you in a minute. So all I do is I put on my matrix. I make sure the time zone in the matrix for that, I like the one hour if I'm trading on the 15 minute or if I'm trading on the five minute, I like the 30 minute. So I just go between to see what happens. I just go to see what's the best fit for this. Now, normally I like uh, trading on the one hour, but Kerry, just so you know, this is a longer term trade. It's actually using the skills you've learned with the ninjas and even before. So let me just check this here. Uh, so there's mark open there. I'm going to go to the previous days. Point of control is there. I've marked it. Yeah, that's your 11 o'clock candle. So just to highlight, that's your target there. Do you see that there? Target point of control. Sakti, yes or no? Do you see yeah. that? Thank yes. you very much. Yeah. So I've just, what I've done is I've just extended that. I've, I've just drawn a line. So all I've done, yeah, right there. Yeah. That's today's, that's yesterday's. So what do I do? I turn on my indicator. I put it onto Heikinashi candles. Let me just double check. I'm double checking. I'm double checking. Five minute might be, might be too, too light a time frame. Maybe you want something you want to do 15 minute because it's quite a distance. So let's, Let's just, let's just play about with it and see what fits you. Sometimes I do an hour. Sometimes I do 15 minutes. Now, that, that already looks much better for this one because it's stronger trends. See that? Nice, strong trends. This is what we're looking for. So yesterday's one, 11 o'clock today. We do not set what the target is below. This is a target here. So we are not taking any buys whatsoever. That's Sydney Open. Then we're now coming up to London Open. And at this time, you notice it starts to sell. Pre-London Open, it moves. It's the same with pre-New York. It, it makes some moves. Let's look at this. Enter the trade. Why? We're a sales one. I'm going to have an early entry down and an injured down. Yep. From that point, we smash through our target. Thank you. Very much. Boom. 143 points, which is a lot of pips. Yeah. I then, at one o'clock, I come up, well, at one o'clock today, I come up with a brainwave. Yeah, I know you like trading on the one hour, and so do I. But this one works very well when you come down to the 15 minute, because this 
we actually set it up on the one hour and then we change or you could even set it up in the um you want to set yours as an hour you can you do as you wish Gary. you do as you wish try this out i don't i don't like scalping this is not a scalping style of trade this is not a scalping style of trade this is being a sniper in the market we're looking at the market structure from a volume perspective we're looking at the we're taking almost 24 hours 40 hours into account we take that there enter the trade hits target as i've said boom we exit the trade when we see that going the ninja. Well, it's at, it's at a target anyway, so we're out. I then come up with a brainwave. We have a, because here is actually a marker open. And it's another new marker open at this time here. That there is uh, eight, eight, nine, 9.30 New York. Yep. There's actually a gap there. Believe it or not, there is actually a gap there between yeah. the, officially between the opens. There's a gap to the previous day. There's a huge gap. Yep. It makes it up. So, so we have a new opening here, but we have a point of a control. And guess what? It goes straight for it. It attacks the point of control once again. And guess what? Once again, we put on a high Kanashi candles. And put on an indicator and this one here. Um, and you got another 132 pips, 132 points, sorry. So for that day, with those two trades, one at Denver time. So that was at midnight. That one there was one o'clock. That one was 130. That one there was 515. 445. Yep. So for that whole day, you've made 143 plus 132, 275 points, which is 2750 pips. Thank you very much with one trading instrument. Is Emily getting a little excited about this strategy? Or is it just me? I think just you, I don't... Um... You cannot get excited about this. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'll go to the next one. That was, I was supposed to be, I was sarcastic there. The next one I'll go to is, uh, let me just check. You could get excited. Thank you very much. I could get excited. Next one, I'll go to US 30. Yep. We do. Now, Sakti, I want you to talk me through this process, please. I yeah. want you to talk me through the process. But I'll remove this here. Uh, I'm going to remove absolutely everything. I've set mine up. Yeah. That's the close. Okay. That's the close. This is okay. a US pair. So yeah. you, when the US markets don't open to there officially, yeah, this is completely closed. So that when that there, there's a there's a big there's there's a big big movement. So for step one, eleven o'clock candle right there from okay. my, my time. So let's do mm -hmm. your time this time. You're Vancouver. Vancouver, okay. yeah. That's thank you very much. What I do is I put my matrix on. Yeah, and then a ninja. Ninja Kita. Um, and my volume profile. Yeah. And we're looking for yesterday's point, sorry. I'm mean, looking to ask the question, is that there in the previous day's range? Yes or no? Is that red candle inside this here? Yes or no? Uh, yes. Yes, well done. Thank you. Next question we ask, where's our target? Do you see a blue line here? Yeah, that's point the control. blue line is our target. Yeah, a previous absolutely. point of control. Yeah, so all I do is I made this one up. I just put that on top of that because I don't know when it's going to happen. Yep. Right, uh, so you okay there? 
yeah i'm okay i just i just got the call from other guy i i i i disconnected yeah thank you so there's the time there we're expecting a buy or a sell there's a point of control are we expecting a buy or a sell sell excellent we do not enter the trade in any of this why because it's in a buy zone yeah matrix is powerful for keeping us out so keeping us out of bad trades and guess what happens boom at that point there hits the red zone we get a ninja down thank you yeah. very much and it just but I mean, I'm not sure if it wicks it, or it just wicks it there. Just wicks it, boom, and one trade. Now, what was the time there? That's Vancouver time. Yeah. Excellent. So you're one hour difference to Kerry. So first thing is, you've hit your target. Thank you very much. And a simple trade. 111 points. Oh, that's lots. Guess what? You can stay out of it. If you want, you can stay out of it. If I've achieved the target, you can walk away. But guess what? We have another open. Yeah. I would not take this one. I would take this one. Why? Because for the New York open, this has been closed the whole day. So, however, we've got a problem. Well, is this here in the previous day's range? It's actually not. This here is not in the previous day's range. Yeah, it's because it's market. above. Yes, because it's above it. However, if you did take it, you would have got huge profits once again of another 150. So let's not do that. That one doesn't fit the rules. But you can see there, and that trade, a thousand pips for the first one. Yeah. Now, let's go to US oil. Questions on that one? I want for the next one we're going to use Kerry's. Let's do, let's do Kerry's on this one, actually. Kerry, for you, that's one, eight, one eight in the morning. And it closed at one thirty. Maybe not for you for this one. Yep. Um, US oil. US oil. Yep. Where's the 11 o'clock candle? It's in the previous day's range. Yeah, I know. So I'm, I'm trying to find one. Yep. There's, a, there's the... It's in the previous day range. Yes, I'll fast forward this. Excellent. Tick. Where's the target? Target's down here. Look. A tar previous target's down here. Yep. So I'm just double checking 15 minute. I'm checking the matrix, make sure it's set up right. Excellent, thank you very much. Now, if it's a bit choppy like this, this, this didn't, at this point I'd potentially get a little bit worried. I'm not really feeling the love at this bit here. I'm not really feeling the love. So what you could potentially do is put on something called the VWAP. I find this, and for me, I find this helps me look through all the this noise and at that point there i feel more confident see all the greens finished there and with this one you get a huge drop of 48 uh, and then it drops back up it's back up and at this point, you'd probably be saying you'd want to exit the trade at that point with a nice, it's a small profit, but it's it's a profit. So that's 17 points. Then we have another one because it's not hit a target yet. And this one just goes all the way through. Right there, boom, 63. So you see how there's less pips and points with oil? It's a nice one that moves well. It mo does move well. Now, what was the time of... I'm going to go back to UTC plus one because I'm a bit mixed with the times. Look at that. New York, uh, 2.30 there. Yeah. So the market typically moves around about 2 o'clock-ish for this pre-market. 
and then boom, straight down. So that again, that would have been a nice winning trade again. Questions? Now, this is happening every single day. Every single day. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, Jaron, 30. Yeah. Uh, first thing when I was setting up today with this one, I noticed the big gap here. Now, I'm going to take everything off. I'm going to move that there. There's actually nothing there, behind there. There's no candles, there's absolutely nothing. Oh, I could try and remove this, why is that not working? Anyway, there's a big gap there, ended there. So I just noticed a big gap. I wrote that there. Something may happen today, tomorrow, I don't know. That's today's. Mark open there. Question, is this in here, the previous trades range? Yes or no? Yes. Excellent, tech. Where's our target? Target the point of control. Excellent. Well done. I've noticed I've marked out there. Yeah. So the I have a question. Uh, the point of control, are we the one we are going to put the line or? Sorry, it's that one. It's actually yesterday's. We're going to yesterday's point of control. Okay. Yesterday's. I just added, added this so I can move it. Yeah. Not today's. Yesterday's point of control. That's okay. our target. So. High Kanashi candles, matrix, ninja cater. Double check the matrix is the correct time frame. Yes. And we were up, I think we were up. Uh, give me a minute. That's there. That's our target. How easy was that to smash through there? How easy was that? From there. Super. And then guess what? New York. So we Open. got another. New another York entry. Open. We're not really focused on the New York Open for this, but guess what it happened again? I went through it again. So we have potentially three time zones. We have Sydney Open, London Open, and New York Open. Yeah. Thank you very much. London Open is, uh, we missed it, it went up. That's it. Great pips. Now, one more, because what have I not done so far? Gold! Every single day has been a winner with gold since I started showing this. Every, without fail, every single day. So let's go. May not work today. I don't. Let's find out. Eleven o'clock candle. There is this in the previous day's range? Yes or no? Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Every one of these has been a winner, Kerry. Every single one. It's a very specific strategy. This is in the previous day's range, right? Where's a, where's a point of a control from the previous day? Is that the, blue, the blue line? That one down there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that one there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that, that, that yeah, I've just extended that. So that's the market close, that's the market open. And we're wanting it to go to that. And guess what? It does it almost too easy. Boom. See how I highlighted that? I actually got, I stayed awake for this last night, believe it or not. <laughs> I st stayed awake for this last night. That there is the volume. I showed this earlier on. You go to volume profile, session volume. And I just set mine up so different. I showed you at the start how to set it up. I'll go, I'll go over that again. So that's our target. Straight away, thank you very much. Rather than X, uh, that was a ninja there. Would you be disappointed? No. No. 
I'll show you on this again again. So that's Sydney Open. We then have London Open. Guess what? Boom. It does it again. Thank you very much. But it hasn't done it with in the US time zone. Yep, it didn't do it in the US time zones. So, surely you must be excited about this. Sadi, you've got to be excited about this. Yeah, I'm very excited. Yes. Now, let me show you this, how easy this yeah. is. So, you ask the question, okay, how to set this up. So, I go to my, the blues here. I go to the volume. Yeah. Yeah, inputs. Out the box, it's numbers of rows. I do ticks per rows. Row size. Okay. Play about with that, what best suits you. I like a low number. Let's say it's 20. What happens? It looks like boxes. Let's say it's 200. It looks like that. This is what it looks like when it's out of the box. It's like that. But it's got okay. different colours in it. We don't want that. We want it. To me, you can't do anything with that. Mm -hmm. I want it nice and easy. I want to focus on the price. And I want to have these, these two other things. I want to bring yeah. these in on another trade. Yep. Next thing. So ticks to total, not up and down, total. And the volume area, we want 70%. We want to, we want to see this 70%. So we want to know where 70% of the trading was on. That shows us just by having 70 in there. They also press this, extend the point of control, because that's what we're pushing for. We want that nice extension. We move to the style. Yeah, we want the volume profile on. The width, 30. And these here, just play about with the colors that suits your palette. Just play about with the colors that suits you. Okay. And out of the box, this one, the point of control is red. It comes like that out of the box. I changed mine to blue. And I leave that, leave that. And the histogram, I have a very small histogram. So I'll just show you that there. So it just shows, now it's away. So it just shows a shadow. It's just showing a shadow of the day's trading. It's just showing a shadow of the previous day's trading. So when we ask the question, is this here in the previous day's range? It's a very simple yes or no. Yes. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's very easy. I wish I could make it more complicated than this, but that's it. So today, if you got in all those trades, you would have probably been up 20,000 pips. Yes. It's not bad, is it? We didn't look at the chat. I watched one of them. I actually watched gold last night. I actually did watch gold. Yes, wow. Yeah. And we're not scalping on the five minute. And five, we, we know we're using the 15 minute and five minute, but we're actually, I would say we're trading. We're using a skills of trading which we've used in the Ninja trading system. We've learned we're using our indicators with fantastic effect. We're really using them with fantastic effect. And what this volume profile, this tells us where the most buying and selling goes on in the, the market. And we know it's like a magnet. So it's come, look at it. Every single time it comes down, previous day, it goes up. This one here. Previous dates, what's today? We will get a loss. I've not had a loss of gold yet trading this style. I've not had one loss yet trading this style. I really haven't. I've lost everybody there. Um, um, I don't know where you are. I've lost you in my screen. Here we go there. No. Are you there? Yeah, I am here. I I've lost. You, you can't. I can't. I can't see a thing. I can't see anybody. Oh, I can see you. I can. I can't do anything. 
Um, but we are me, able to see your screen. Right, what I'll do is I'll stop share. Now I can see you. Okay. So do you have any questions? Uh, for me? No questions. Thank you very much for your classes. Yep. You're welcome. Now, I've been doing classes every day this week. Okay. As I said, I would. I've been doing records. When when trade setups there, and we're hitting through the, I post them. I do a couple of the ninjas. I don't do them all. I don't want okay. to take over the ninja wall. With okay. I think it was about six winning trades today in total. But I put them all in the beginners group. Yeah, it's, this is incredible. Okay, I'm, yeah, I've been is asked, great. It, it really is. It's great. Thank you I very much. I would like a one-to-one, -one, Kerry, with you to, to, to just to, because Sakti's seen it a couple of times. Um, the only one thing we have to do is get right with some of these. We have to make sure you have a stop loss. Well, yeah. you, do, you always have to do, but with these, you have to make sure. Um, it's a super powerful system. And um, let me just finish off. Let me just check. Um, Now, let's think of trade setups for tomorrow. How cool is that? Trade setups for tomorrow. All we do is we do the exact same thing. We do the exact same thing. Okay. And we look for today's point of control this time. Because guess what? The market's going to close soon in six minutes. The market's going to close in six minutes for indices. So guess what? There's the point of control. So there's a target. So the price is roundabout target. So may, this one it might not that move, move that much. So let's just go through the ball. Let's just go through the ball from top to, fact, let me do it this way. Uh, move that there. Let me remove. How all I want is the volume, nothing else. So Kerry, there, there's the volume profile there. There is today's point of control. So that's a target. Price is here. So question, is that a buy or a sell? You know the answer. Yeah, how easy is that? All we do is you set up the conditions you wait for the condition. Maybe the conditions won't work. We will eventually lose trades with these. I've got to be honest. We will eventually lose trades. But I can't be that good. We will. Um, but there's your target there. But we don't just enter. We'll wait for the time is right. Everything I showed you. So that's the NAS 100. SPX, standard and poor is 500. Turn everything off. All I'm interested in is the point of control for today. That's it there. That's our target. That's the price line. Now, the price is quite a bit far away from there. Just, there will be movement throughout the day. If price is as far away as this, I would be cautious. I'm going to add a little bit of extra sauce now, right? What I've not mentioned to anybody else or even you. When price is far, this is this area here. This this is the seventy percent. Do you remember how we know that? Yeah, uh, in the settings we set up yeah. the we told it, and this is called value area. Ideally, we want the price to be in the value area. Ideally, we want the price. When market opens, to be in that. Now, if this is not in there, what 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 I can recommend you do is you wait for entry, when it when it actually goes into the value. There's enough profit there. There's enough profit. You don't have to get a thousand pips in every one, although you did at that point. But that, just so you know, that's a little bit extra sauce for you. Uh, U.S. oil. Or remove everything. Where's our point of control? Targets there. Price is down here. 
It's outside of value area. So again, be yeah. careful. If that was me. I would wait for price to enter the value area on a bag zone for the ninja up before entering. Have a, have a uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. I'll record this video as it is, and I'll put it in uh, the beginners and the ninja group. Okay. Bye for now. Have a, have a lovely day. Bye. So, Sakti, you see that there? This is yeah. value. Therefore, yeah. this is not value. It's a buy, but I'd probably yep. wait till it hits the value area. Yeah, that's extra really sauce. Big. Yep. Now, if you've enjoyed this session when we're finished, just go into the Forex for Beginners group and leave a comment. Yep. Because it's good okay. for me to know that you're getting value. And also, it's the point if, you, if, you, if there's something I can do to, it's good for me to, to see it yep. written. Uh, yep. German 30. Um, yep. Where's my point of control? There. Price is near it. I've, I've covered this one earlier. Uh, gold. Now, this is an interesting one. Yeah. Point of control is there. Target price is up here. Yeah. It's interesting what's happened here. It's outside of the value. You know, this will probably drop anyway. But try not enter until because that area, because guess what? You've got enough. You know, with these, you, you'd, have made, you'd have made about 17,000 pips today if you took these trades. 20,000. I'm not saying we're going to get that every single day. Yeah. I'm not saying we're going to win every trade every single day. All I'm really saying is stay focused, an easy strategy. Yeah. But yeah, what we're now very, doing. Very, very easy. This strategy is very easy. We're focusing on our skills, our trading skills, yeah. with a with a good, successful win strategy, with indices and gold that pays very, very well. And there's the target for tomorrow. Boom. Before I go, job. Any final questions? Um, no questions. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, do you have anything you would like to say? About what I've asked you. So, have you have, have, have you has this been useful for you? Yeah, it's very useful for me. Yeah. Yep. So, one final question: If you only got one thing out of today's session, a session, if you only got one thing, whether it be a learning, something you discovered, or something that just a fact that went wow, what if you only got one thing out of today? What would that fact? What would that thing be? Um, it's fantastic. I learned the um, strategy from you. Also, uh, today I learned the stop loss where to put exactly. Um, it's great. Thank you very yeah. much. No, excellent. And I'm glad moving forward, when you become successful, this, you will be able to share this with others. And as you begin to share this with other people, your confidence will grow. You yeah. become more successful and yeah. probably make a lot more pips as well. And your friends will thank you. They will yeah. thank you because you introduced them to this strategy or something similar from the other ninja, whether it's myself or the other ninja traders. Yeah. Thank you very much to you and Kerry for being here today. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm sure I'll speak to you soon. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. You're welcome. And if you're watching this on Facebook, like it, make a comment. Yeah. If you're watching it on YouTube, like it, make a comment. Yeah. And guess what? I'll see you and everybody who's watching this at the top. Bye for now.